What's up guys, we're back on World Flipper today to take a look at the brand new units that are dropping in the game pretty imminently. We've got a maintenance coming up tonight, and after that maintenance we should be seeing these units added to the game in the new banner. We've got two new 5 stars coming, two new 4 stars, and one 3 star, so I want to cover those units. Give you guys an idea and a look at what they do, and then kind of go over what I'm going to do with this banner. And if you guys like the units or not, and you guys can make your decision, you're going to go ahead and summon or save those gems for future pulls. So the first unit we have here is going to be a fire five star. Her name is Kikano. She's going to have the leader ability of fire characters attack plus 80% and then multi-ball attack plus 40% and HP plus 10%. So she is in that multi-ball fire category. We're going to have the skill of summoning a red Oni for 30 seconds. It's going to have double strike, 25% and penetration. And then the blue Oni is going to be summoned for 30 seconds with flow and regeneration for 50 seconds. And it's going to deal fire damage to enemies that are hit. So she's going to have two separate summons that are both going to fly around doing separate things which is kind of cool it does have a higher skill cost though of 550 her ability one is going to be multi balls get that direct attack damage up by 60 percent thus further enhancing multi ball fire team got the ability two when multi balls appear fever gauge plus 25 and multi ball direct attack damage plus three percent up to a maximum of 30 percent and when she's in that main slot that ability three is going to be while there are two or more multi balls present Fire characters are going to gain that 25% attack and the multi-ball attack is going to go up 60%. She is definitely going to be strong on that fireball multi-team. You could probably pair her with Marina and it would probably make for a big increase in damage and consistency there. I don't have a Marina, but if I ever do pull one, that is going to be a nice little pair to run. She is semi-limited, so she's going to be added into this banner and then taken away and added back again at a later time to the generic pool. So she is not going to be added in to the generic pool of summons right away once this banner leaves. So this is a quote unquote semi-limited unit. So if you're desperate to, you know, buff up your fire multi-ball team and you just need to have it now, you can pull for her. She is going to return though. So this isn't just like a one and done limited unit forever. She is going to come back. All right, guys, moving on to the second unit, we have Metis. She is going to be the Thunder 5-star, the second 5-star of the banner. She's going to have that leader skill of Thunder characters attack up 80%, and then during Fever, Thunder characters are going to receive an additional attack up 100%. As a Thunder Fever unit, this is already pretty nice. So we've got the skill of facing the nearest enemy, call down a rain of Thunder arrows from the sky. She's going to deal Thunder damage 24 times to enemies around. Damage is going to be enhanced on enemies that are hit with that parameter paralysis debuff by 25%. So if you're running Thunder Fever and you have Inaho on that team and you know how often you're triggering that paralysis debuff, this is going to pair so nicely with that. It's just extra damage paralysis is going to be going off. You guys can set up those ulti gauges to just go in sequence the way you want it to happen. It's a very nice pair already. Her ability one is going to be attack plus 20% and then during fever own attack is going to go up an additional 60%. Ability two own attack 20% and then entering fever she's going to boost her own skill gauge up by 30%. So fever is going to be giving her damage. Fever is going to be giving her skill gauge buff. He only has a 440 skill cost so this for Thunder Fever, this is a very nice unit. And then we have her main ability of after using skill, own attack plus 50% up to that maximum of 100%, and then fill Fever Gauge plus 500 for one time only. As a Thunder Fever staple, she definitely is there. So I have a fun little thing going with Christmas Shishiro right now for Thunder Fever teams. And if I do summon on the banner, I'm not sure if I'm going to go super crazy on this banner yet, but this is something that I might just pull a little for, try to grab myself a copy of her to kind of further enhance that Thunder Fever. But Thunder Fever, as you guys know, will continue to improve as it goes. So only going to keep getting better from here on out. All right, guys, moving on to that next unit, we have Revy. Revy is going to be that first four star of the banner. She is a fire character and she's going to have that leader ability of attack plus 100%. Her skill is going to be facing the nearest enemy, dealing high speed combo attacks, deals fire damage 16 times to enemies in the direction of your movement, and then damage will scale the number of buffs on self. Don't have that current number of what that buff is exactly going to be it'll be an interesting thing to test if i do pull her i'm going to assume it's probably between five and ten percent maybe ten percent sounds ridiculously good so i'm gonna guess maybe five seven but i'll be able to test that if i am able to snag a copy of that her skill cost is 450 ability one is going to be leader hp 15 percent and leader attack plus 25 percent ability three when she's in that main slot while combo count is at or above 30 it's going to grant all party members penetration buff until the next ball flip combo count needed for level three power flip minus six so she is buffing your fire leader so and you're trying to power flip and if you're doing like a multi-ball power 
flip team with Hanabi and some power flip enhancers, you've got this ridiculously discounted cost to hit that level three power flip. So that will be fun to experiment with if I can get my hands on one of these. It will see if we can make that fire multi-ball power flip team just kind of do its thing a little quicker. And moving on to the next unit in the banner, we have Rue. He's going to be the second four star of the banner. He's a four star wind and he has the leader ability of when four or more beast type characters are in the party. You're going to get party members HP up by 30%. And attack up by 60%. His skill is going to be rush forward and deal wind damage 18 times to surrounding enemies and grant power flip damage buff 50% for 15 seconds. So power flip and wind is kind of in the same boat that fever and wind are in where it exists but it's not great and there's barely any choices for it. So if you're trying to build that wind power flip team right now your options are very limited so he's not going to come in and make any power flip win team good because there's barely any units that do that at the moment he does have a low skill cost of 430 he has the ability one for each beast type character in the party power flip damage will increase 10 percent up to that maximum of 60 percent ability to every 30 combo leader attack five percent up to a maximum of 100 percent okay that would pair nicely with like a float mechanic and ability three when own skill activates grant all party members float float buff so with a float team and power flip you guys can just kind of stack up those combos get the power flip level up and then when it comes down you'll be able to hit it off and you're going to get that maximum of 100 percent to your leader here with his ability too so the ability too is pretty cool but i do think wind needs a little more power flip support before you could really be like this is this is a viable standalone wind power flip team all right guys moving on to the last unit of the banner we have the three star which is the fire unit cran so she is going to have the leader ability of fire characters attack plus 50 percent and then while allies have the float buff fire characters attack plus 40 percent so that is a not great because you're relying on the float buff to be active for any kind of attack buff if you're placing her as your leader so i would not recommend doing that you have the skill of facing the nearest enemy shoot continuous flame arrows dealing fire damage ten and a half times to enemies hit and you're going to be granting allies the float buff for about eight seconds it looks like and then we have the skill cost of 450 her ability one is going to be excluding own skill when skill activates own skill gauge plus 10 percent for a maximum of 10 times so for those 10 skills other than her own skill she's going to get that skill boost up and i do like how they're pointing out that it's excluding her own skill and not just leaving that part out and let, letting us guess and figure it out as we go her ability two is going to be while allies have the float buff own direct attack damage plus 60 percent while combo count is at or above 30 the party is going to be immune to that poison debuff and then her ability three when she's in that main slot she's going to have after fire characters attack 60 times fire characters attack will go up by five percent up to that maximum of 100 so she's okay it's a lot of conditional effects for a three star to do a lot i know that a fire has a lot of other choices to cleanse you know debuffs off be immune to poison so doesn't seem too exciting so far if i do go in on this banner it's definitely going to be metis for that thunder fever i think that is going to be a fun little addition to kind of increase thunder fever's potency i wouldn't go into this banner summoning like crazy most of these units besides kikuno are going to get added into the general pool kikuno will get added just at a later time so if you guys are trying to save your stones and target like a really good banner i would save them we have rolf coming right around the corner and a lot of you guys already know rolf is the unit to pull for so people are saving now which i should be doing but i want to see if i can grab a metis maybe so we will see when the banner drops if i can grab one all right guys that's going to be it for my coverage of the new banner dropping in world flipper very shortly so i wish you guys luck if you do decide to do summons i appreciate you stopping by and watching this video if you're new here and you're looking forward to more world flipper content and just got your content all around hit that sub button remember if you hit that thumbs up it'll help bring my rates up peace guys